U.S. Navy moves another massive aircraft carrier close to North Korea. The U.S. Navy is moving a second aircraft carrier close to the Korean Peninsula just days after North Korea tested a new missile capable of carrying a nuclear warhead. The USS Ronald Reagan departed on Tuesday from Yokosuka, Japan, and will join the USS Carl Vinson in waters off North Korea in order to carry out training exercises, defense officials told CNN. Coming out of a long in-port maintenance period we have to ensure that Ronald Reagan and the remainder of the strike group are integrated properly as we move forward, Rear Admiral Charles Williams said in a press release on Tuesday. On Sunday, North Korea reported that it successfully test-fired a mid-range ballistic rocket that it claims could fire a nuclear warhead as far as a U.S. Air Force base located in the U.S. Pacific Territory of Guam. However, the U.S. military has expressed doubts over the claimed range of the missile. There may be some confusing on this subject. Following a period of increased activity in missile testing in April, President Trump told Reuters that, there is a chance that we could end up having a major, major conflict with North Korea. The presence of nuclear weapons on board U.S. aircraft carriers since the end of the Cold War has neither been confirmed nor denied by the U.S. government. As a result of this, the presence of a U.S. aircraft carrier in a foreign port has occasionally provoked protest from local people. Another interesting note the USS Ronald Reagan, was one of the 16 U.S. ships used in Fukushima relief and is still contaminated with radiation. Stay paranoid my friends.